yeah. Here, I'll check out the Ant Man trailer now. I I've said this before. I'll say it again. Ant Man and the Wasp, I think, is one of the MCU's worst movies. I like Ant Man. I just think that movie was bad. So I don't have huge expectations here. And people are calling it Spy Kids. And I guess it's because the outfits look like the armor from Spy Kids. So my ex expectations are kind of low. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're at ex-con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. People still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. Like a oh, the quantum realm. Split. Yes. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Everything quantum. Turn it off. Now. Things are a bit sleazy in the Prime Joshi. Have a good night, Skunky. Where are we? Am I gonna come down? Am I going to land? I should have stayed on the phone. I should have listened to my own mind. It's the secret universe beneath ours. What are you so afraid of? There's something I never told you. This place. I mean, seems just pretty standard shit. It is no Doesn't look think. alarmingly awful, doesn't look amazing. I just have no real thoughts on it, man. It's just more Marvel. I can get you home. And give you more time. If you help me, so what's it gonna be? Hey, he was introduced in Loki. Ant Man. Looks like Artemis Fowl. I did see people critiquing the visuals. I believe the tweet that went viral is, I can only see two actors standing in front of a green screen here. And I get it. I mean, it is what it is, man. It's, it's just pretty much all CGI in most Marvel movies, and the fact that they're pumping them out so quickly means that the VFX artists don't really have time to clean everything up and make it look super polished. So yeah, I agree, sometimes it looks kind of jolting. There's resub Brody and Lance and Reaper and the Prime Hazenberg. The resub Zippy and Squid. Things of Prime Toxic. In Winslux. Kang going to be the next Thanos in the MCU. Yep. He's their next major big bad. But the thing that makes me not care is the fact that there's like eight shows, nine movies, all of which just keep introducing more and more characters that I just don't give a fuck about. And it's hard to keep up with them because the shows are so goddamn boring now. I think the resub Sep, Clev, and Gwark, and Partisan, and Biggie. Yeah, the next show actually looks good somehow. Are you talking about the Nick Fury show? Because that does look good. That actually looked like it was finally taking itself seriously again.
new Vinland Saga trailer. Yeah, I saw that dropped. Yep, I know James Gunn's gonna be the new uh, DCU head. He's a prime jaw. <clears throat> Have you seen the Guardians Christmas special? No. Is this going to make me laugh? Is it a comedy? That would be pretty cool. I just saw on the calendar that right now on Earth, it's almost Christmas time. We don't have time for trivialities like Christmas. But Peter's so sad about Gamora being gone. If we go to Earth, Huge. a really wonderful Christmas gift, it would make him happy. Something special he will never forget. What about someone special? We are looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. I just said that, Drax. With your voice is small and mousy, I think maybe he didn't hear you. Ah! You're coming with us as a Christmas present. Man, I do love Marvel comedies. So uh, you bet your ass I probably won't watch it. Huge. That's just not for me, man. If I was a kid, I'd probably like it. Again, the main demographic is kids. I think we have to accept that now. Marvel targets very younger audiences. So, it's, I don't know, it's just not for me. I don't think it looks bad. It's just not something I'd like. She-Hulk is for kids? I don't know. I dropped She-Hulk after three episodes. I, God only knows. Uh, I have no clue. This is the bits, bud. True. A good children's show that tar a good children's show targets adult watchers too. SpongeBob, for example. Well, yeah, old SpongeBob. It was a kids show, but anyone of all ages could enjoy it. And Marvel's a lot like that. It's just not for me. I I I am very tired of the Marvel formula. I'll still watch them for the sake of you know reviewing them and hopefully being entertained. But I'm not, like, actively looking forward to them. The only one that I'm somewhat optimistic for is Deadpool 3. But I guess we'll see how that goes. I was optimistic for Thor Love and Thunder, and look what happened with that. What a disaster. Thanks for some Slime Dog and Cannoli. The Prime Man Raj. the resub mart there's the prime owl There's a new Star Wars show coming out tomorrow. Oh my god. I had no idea. Uh, no thoughts, because I don't know what the fuck comes out tomorrow. Do you think Disney Plus is what killed Marvel? Marvel's not dead. And no, Disney Plus didn't contribute to its downfall either. It's just the formula. Their reliance on pumping out identical movies to fit in the same exact general story beats and 
expected Marvel experience just makes it just tired and drawn out. 